Each year the Gee Whiz Group holds a festive model railway exhibition. This year is our 17th. Each one supports a local charity. In 2013 we supported the Fouled Sharks a Children's Disability Swimming Club. The exhibition covers all different scales of model railways, some of a festive nature, like this small layout called Snowy Mountain from the Gee Whiz Group. This shows that you don't need a large space to make a G-scale railway. The layout measures just 5 feet square. The layout is constructed using polystyrene foam covered with a snowy blanket. Most of the features are from the Limax range of Christmas decorations. The train is from LGB and is the North Pole Express. The locomotive, of course, is Rudolph. At the other end of the size scale is this miniature railway built to Z gauge, exhibited by Marion Turner, who also brought the one in a glass case, which is one thousandth full size. Another regular visitor to our Christmas show is Walter Turner, who travels from North Wales with his Playmobil Christmas layout. Imagine waking up on Christmas morning with this lot in your Christmas stocking. The layout is always a great draw for all the children. Our young visitors are even allowed to drive this layout. We are always supported at our exhibition by members from the Fylde Society of Model Engineers with their 3.5 inch and 5 inch gauge locomotives and rolling stock. The Gwiz Catering team always make sure they look after all the exhibitors and the public alike. Our exhibition always attracts good trade support. This year we were supported by SMTF Models from Manchester and Model Town Buildings from Bacup in Lancashire. Another regular visitor to our shows is Terry Daniel with his fantastic large-scale model trams from Lytham St Anne's and Blackpool. Each one of the trams is hand-built. David Bird from the Lytham St Anne's Railway Society brought along his 4mm scale model of the Welsh mining lines. The centrepiece of our festive model railway exhibition is always the Gee Whiz Christmas layout. It's a change for us because for the rest of the year it is a garden layout that's on display, complete with lawn, real plants and waterfalls. But at Christmas we push the boat out and really go mad.
Father Christmas has enlisted the help of a meerkat this year for delivering stuff down the chimneys. And we have our own snowflake locomotive as well. It's always a problem at this time of the year when exhibitors can be taken ill. In this case, at very short notice, we called on Tony Waring from the G-Scale Society's North West Group, who brought along his zoo railway and set it up on the day. Tony is normally one of our G-Wiz team of drivers, along with Joe Neal and David Isaacs. Visitors to the exhibition often want to know how the models are put together. So our resident demo man is Tony Stevenson from Little St. Anne's. It's in notes, you know. I believe so. The sign says it all. And this is Roy McCann's HO scale American logging railway, Triple Trees Junction. Roy is a great follower of digital control this layout was built to demonstrate the system. Another regular exhibitor is Andrew Jolly from the Blackpool and North Fylde Model Railway Club. He's brought along his Canadian Burnaby Model Railway in HO scale, set in the wilds of Canada. Well, that's as slow as I can get that time at the um... Photographers just photograph the Hood rail car as it passes through the canyon. Oh well, the visitors are coming in nicely now, so it's time for us to make space for the rest of the exhibition. And we hope to see you in 2014.